Okay, I um, I want to go through this um, demo of how robotic process automation will work for you in situations that you may not even have thought of. Okay. I'm going to open this software here, which is it's a portfolio management software. Uh, so this is a, you know, finance scenario, but it has many elements of um, what you will, uh, what you will um, encounter in any business. Um, almost every business uses some kind of ERP or software to manage its affairs these days. And you will typically find that um, it's it's usually like you have to buy it off the shelf and it won't 100% fit your specific needs. For example, it might have been made for your business, but it won't be able to handle the unique problems every business in that space might have. So as an example, in this case, this is a beautiful software, but it does a lot of, I mean, it does a lot of fancy things, great things, amazing things, but it, there's something it does not do that I need needed to do. And uh, that's what I'm going to use as an illustration of how RPA can work for you. So in this folder called Future Fruit Limited, there's a bunch of... Um, items here uh, which represent people that I manage money for and as of now that money is kept in like um, a money market or fixed deposit account certificates of deposits sort of um, uh, investments and you know those are typically paid at, at an annual interest rate but um, you get credited the amount you've earned every month and then you earn interest on whatever your new balance is going forward so essentially every month you know your balance increases by a little bit and on and on and on it goes so this is something that this software cannot do it does not know how to calculate monthly interest and add it on to somebody's account balance and that creates a problem because that means I have to do it manually and what that might mean is I would take person one find out what's the balance divide or I'm sorry say for example the interest is 10% per annum that would be what 15,000 thereabouts a year divide that by 12 and then after I get that that amount manually feed it into the system by opening this say new distribution and then I'll put it in manually and say maybe maybe it's 150 and I say okay and that will update its balance but before I do that I have to take the last month's balance and reinvest it and then say okay to that and so on and so forth so I have to do this for everybody here and you know after doing that I have to print a report of the new balances which includes um, how much uh, the interest was this month which is like a dividend report or interest report and then how much the new portfolio balance is and I have to merge that and um, basically send a report to each of these people uh, which I kind of summarized here, the items, the things that I need to do. Um, it's a lot of steps, and it's actually quite, uh, it's just something that you would have needed a human being to do, if not for this technology. Um, so the first step would be to print last month's summary for the entire portfolio, which is like, I mean, as you can see, there's about 13 people here or thereabouts. So I'll print a summary of everybody's balance for the record because I'm about to update it. Then I'm going to take um, what was their balance 
export it to Excel for each for and then for each of them and then calculate um, interest and management fee for this month. And then when I've gotten those figures, re-enter them into the software. Let's do this for each person. Then after I'm done, print out the report for each person. Um, then finally, print out the new total portfolio, which is like the first step. Uh, this was for last month. And this is like the end of this month. And then after that, merge all the reports I've printed in number five and number six. And then delete the extra stuff and then send an email report to everybody. All of that I have fully automated right now. And I'm about to show you like an illustration of that um, just to get you um, to get you like um, to see a live scenario in play okay so I'm going to um, press run file and the first thing it does is it's gonna ask me uh, okay what month are we talking about now because you do this once a month so I might say six for June uh, and then it'll ask me, what was the interest rate for last month? And I might say 6.5, which I believe was the actual thing I earned. So right now, it looks like it's not doing anything. But what is really happening is that I told, I told the robot that if the software is closed, open it. If you find the software open, and it's in, in a different page than where it should be. Close that page and go to where it should be. If the software is open and it's on the page it's supposed to be, go ahead and start doing those uh, items that I listed earlier. So it's trying to figure out where exactly am I before it takes action. In other words, this is an example of how it can think if you provide it with the parameters to reason. And you can, they can be, it can be very complicated, as complicated as you like it, provided you provide it with all the variables, all the options to consider. Once it's considered them all, to figure it out, as you can see, and it will start working. So the first thing it does is it prints out the report, like I said, um, for last month. Then after it does that, it begins to calculate behind the scenes, which I think I better open for you so you see what it's doing. Um, after it calculates, oh, what was the interest? I mean, what was the balance? It removes all the junk, and then it kind of presents you with a report of what it's done in summary, so that in case you want to audit or review the stuff it's done, it's there for your use. Then now that it's calculated the interest that everybody earned, it goes back to each person's account, and it opens, reinvests last month's dividend or interest, and then enters the new month's earnings. And then does that for each person. Um, so as you can see, it's quite um, dexterous because this is a rather complicated task. But this is also one of those things that uh, once you've taught the robot what to do, you literally can go to bed <laughs> and come back and the job will be done, you know. So, I mean, it's going to take a few minutes for it to go through this process for everyone. But what it's going to do, it's, it's going to, you know, reverse last month's dividend, make the new entry for everybody. Then once it's done with that, it's going to start printing reports that show that, okay, this is, 
the interest you earn this month and then it's going to print another report after it does that report that says okay this is now the new value of your portfolio and then after it has done that it's going to merge those two reports for each person and then print the new total portfolio balance and then it will email everybody their report personalized not just gener generically uh, because everyone has a different balance um, and it's gonna it's gonna send emails that say that put the people's names in it so it's not just a gener generic generic uh, dear sir or ma'am it's gonna say oh mr a mr b this is what you have today thank you for doing business with us and it does all of that in a fraction of the time that it takes a human being to do it this task that we're looking at used to take me when i did it manually somewhere between two and a half and three hours um but the robot makes it look easy now because first of all it, <laughs> i've explained to it in a sense everything i've done uh or everything i usually would have done and i've given it all the exceptions the things that i come across the problems that I come up so it, it just kind of moves smoothly but it also has the advantage of being able to how do i say this move a lot faster than a human being would you know so because of that what used to take me hours is going to take it only a couple of minutes to do nevertheless it still has to do each task individually so this is task two and it's beginning to print the reports we'll do that for everyone this is a report one when it finishes the report one it will come back and print report two so i mean without um without I mean, there's no way you can we can quicken this process unless I just show you the end of it. But because my my objective is to uh, show you how efficient and productive this can be, I have to ask your indulgence to just watch this and um, enjoy. Um, the experience of watching, if you like, artificial intelligence do the work of a human being. Now, some will argue that RPA, Robotic Process Automation, is, is a very low level of artificial intelligence because it cannot actually like, reason outside um, the scope of what you give it to do. But, you know, while that is a valid argument, it is also true that it can do a lot of things that previously you'd have had to hire a human being to do so for example this thing um if for example the employee was ill or not available would not get done but you wouldn't have that problem with the robot in fact, it's so good you can pre-program it that you know what on so 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 day in the future you just go ahead and do this. You don't need my permission. You don't need me to check it. I just go ahead, present, prepare these reports, and send them off to the clients at the end of every month. So bear in mind that this is pretty amazing when you consider all those variables. And uh, I'm presenting you with this scenario so that you start thinking about ways. That you can use this technology to solve problems within your organization. Uh, one of the um, one of the major comments I get when I do this is that, "Oh, wow, this is amazing!" But people don't want to think about exactly how this can be useful to them in their. Um, day-to-day -day businesses uh, they want me to figure out scenarios for them and that's a challenge for me because 
This example that I'm showing you is not a textbook example. It's not something that you could ever have thought of unless you have an experiential perspective of what I had to go through to get this done on a monthly basis. So in, in a real sense, um, you have to, the organization is responsible for opening up itself to be uh, able to take advantage of opportunities that RPA can um, can resolve or you know help with in their organizations. It's not really my responsibility because what worked for company A may not be your problem. You know, I, I, another way of saying that is. Um, not everybody has the same type of problem. You understand? For example, if you are using a different software from this, you might have a different problem than what I do. As a matter of than what I did in this case. As a matter of fact, I'm working with an investment bank right now that the kinds of problems that they have are nothing like this. You know? But they were able to say, oh wow, I can see how this will work for me. And then they, they defined the problems for me and then we make robots that help them to solve problems i mean doing things that used to take days and days i mean instances of days where i mean times where things that um, took three working days to do would be done in three hours you know all in perfectly no mistakes um, i mean just amazing 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 output so the only way I can think of that is around that is if you allow me to install the software on your computer and then just essentially let it watch you work. That's called, in a sense, that's called process mining. So when the software is tracking what your people do, it looks for opportunities for automation in that process. Um, so that's the only way around it. But as you can see, you know, we're just about done with printing the reports. I was saying all of that to entertain you. And it says here that it's done. It, it took 11 minutes and one second to do 13 people. That means it took less than um, a minute per person. That's just not possible with a human being. It's just not possible. <laughs> you know, you just can't do it. I don't care how, how fast your fingers are. You just cannot do all these 13 things in one minute or less. So the exponential gains are astronomical. They're beyond our ability to really comprehend until we experience them. But what it does for organizations is that it increases your capacity tremendously. So instead of just motivational posts, I wanted to... Um, let you see a practical example of how this can help you in your business. So these are the emails that have come in from everybody. You'll see everybody has a different email. Look at this. So there, Mr. This, and this is his report. You know, I'm sorry, it opens on another page. Let me bring it here. So you have a dividend report, and then you have uh, a portfolio report. Then you move on to the next person. You have a again you have a dividend report and then you have um, a portfolio balance and so on and so forth. As you can see they all have um, different names. Now you might notice I sent all the emails to myself but that's that's because I already sent them their reports this month. So they don't need another one. But the point is, you know, you get the picture. It's, it did the job without my needing to touch the computer even once. So I hope you, you are able to, 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 to see the value in, in this. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you to discuss how we can help you meet your needs with this awesome technology. Thank you and have a nice day.